Hey guys, so I'm just going to do a um, quick Twin Flame Divine Love Soulmate reading. Um, I'm going to try and make this like super fast because I need to go uh, take a shower. I just finished working out and we're going to go grab a bite sushi. All right, so... But I was just like, while I was working out, it was just like, okay, we got to do this. Look, calling in your soulmate. So I don't, I don't know. Let's see. Divine masculine, divine feminine, and the connecting energy. So give me one card for the divine masculine. Where is the divine masculine currently in regards to this connection with his divine feminine? He is... Trusting in what he's doing. He's having faith. I don't know if you can like see how this guy looks right here, but he honestly looks like He's resisting her. Okay, let's see. What's at the bottom of this? Express your love. Because she looks like she wants to hear about it, right? But he has this, he's like... It's like that little cherub's there to shoot the arrow of love if he doesn't express it. I think it's it's more like he it's like a leap of faith. He's about to take to express his love. All right, so let's get one for oh shit, that's way too many. One for the divine feminine. Where's the divine feminine at right now in regards to this connection? Here we go. We got two. Release your ex and it's safe for you to love. And very soon. Whew, the time has come to clear your energy. So this is uh, two things. This is literally like release your ex. This is also... Um, release your past like of who you thought this this guy was because I, however he shows up what is it this is very soon is going to be different than the way he left you that's why she's like looking down at him like like seriously bro you just showed up like this and the angel's even looking back at him like, you got one shot. I'm hearing that Eminem song. <laughs> you had one shot, you know, to capture everything, whatever, however it goes. I can't think of the words right now, but that's the song that started playing in my head. Because she's about to take off. You see, the horse is like up in the air, ready to charge off and uh, wait here I hear it. Wait, that Maroon song, Maroon Five song. Yeah, wait. Turn around, just I can't sing it. Whatever. Maroon Five, wait. All right, so let's see. Where's the connecting energy? Where's the connecting energy currently between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine? Okay, finances and career. But this is at the bottom of the deck. So it says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So either it's that there's you're separated due to jobs, there you're both focused on your jobs. There may not be um There may not be uh, 
back. You know, like you could have money in other places, like with these, you know, like see like this release your ex, like maybe you're tied up with your, with your ex, your finances are tied up with your ex. And just know like the energies can flip and flop, you know, because we are like mirrors of each other anyway. And we both have div divine masculine and divine feminine in, inside of us. So, but this is engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So, I feel like he's he's waiting for perfect timing. Like he's literally relying on divine timing to express his love. And this release, I feel like there's some divine feminine, like literally ready to walk away from this connection because... But it says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Yeah, I'm hearing that, that song, Wait, by Maroon 5. Okay, so I want to do this kind of quick. So, I mean, because I, like I said, we're going somewhere. So, all right, so let's get one more card for Divine Masculine. Yeah, he is, okay, he is ending a cycle in his life right now. He has really gone through a death. Like, I, I don't know what the heck, but he has been betrayed and backstabbed and, um, whoa. Yeah, he's like ending something serious. Like, this is like an ending of a marriage. This is... So some Divine Masculine are... Yeah, they're def they're like ending karmic cycles. That's what I said. They're like ending... Um, like serious commitments. And it's taking them a lot of courage and strength to move through this... Trust, this is probably why he's resisting right now, because she, he looks like he's resisting her advances because she just wants to hug him and, and love him. And and I just keep hearing, like, perfect timing. He's waiting for the perfect timing. All right, so let's see. Let's get another, let's get one card for Divine Feminine. Okay, this is about a choice. This is also, you know, because there is an opportunity here to have a new beginning. And I'm just hearing that song, wait. Because it's like releasing the past. It's choosing that. I mean, the divine masculine here in this card, I always see like the divine masculine, like totally going through a rebirth, which is definitely what's happening over here. We saw that 10 of swords, you know, it's just endings, karmic endings. And here's the divine feminine, just completely under the guidance of just releasing to the universe, you know, but like here, here's the universe bringing them together. They're, go they're going to meet, you know, I feel like they're both, I mean, cause see there's the snake over here. The, the fem the divine feminine is, is going through it great, more gracefully, but that's, that's only due to the fact that the divine feminine has been along the path a little bit long, like longer, maybe a lot longer than the divine feminine, divine masculine. 
And that's why she doesn't look as like, I mean, look at him. He is like, for, like wanting to just like drop to his knees. Like it's excruciating. Okay. Whatever he's going through, but this is bringing forth, um, it, transformation. It's, it's bringing forward. I mean, that's the nine of cups. going to bring about balance within this connection if but but the but the choice is is like are you going to choose to listen with an open heart and mind or are you just going to kick your heels and let that horse run Because whatever is going on with the divine masculine, it's deep, and he can't talk. He can't talk about it now. See, th this connection is transforming. I mean, there's an opportunity for a new beginning here. All right, so let's see. Let's see what the connecting energy is. Let's get another something. Wow. We got the Two of Cups. I mean, this is definitely like soulmate energy here. Some divine masculine and divine feminine um, may begin working together. The Queen of Pentacles. I feel like that's just all about like both sides at this time loving and nurturing themselves, like healing themselves. While they figure things out. That's what I just heard. All right. So I'm going to get like, all right. what does the divine masculine want the divine feminine to know? Love is all around you. There's love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this is truth. And love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. So it's like, I don't know. There's just this element of, I don't feel the divine masculine is showing all his cards right now for some reason. And, um, there may be some divine feminine getting a little bit antsy, you know, that's why the horse is like ready to take off and like he's showing up and she's like, uh, what? Like, and this, look at this angel looking at him like, better make this good, buddy, you know? And it's like, so divine masculine is asking you divine feminine to, Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. So this is about trust, which we got in that last, that's that last reading, like the whole, um, blind faith, you know, that no matter what it looks like, remember who you are and why you started this journey in the first place. I mean, everybody has free will. You could take off, you know, you don't have to listen. You know, a lot of, a lot of you have, um, you know, divine masculine, divine feminine, like y'all have like really just 
you know, divine masculine is like trash, the divine feminine. And for some of you, it's like goes both ways, you know, the, it, it, it just goes, it always goes both ways, right? So, but like we have this two of cups here. So I don't know if like you guys are going to start working together. Like there might be people that that's where that's where your twin is. Like for those that don't know know who your twin is at this time, like you might start working with them. And then uh, oh look at this, I love you. That's for everybody from their counterpart. All right, um, let's let's get. What does the divine feminine want the divine masculine to know? Jesus. What does the divine feminine want the divine masculine to know? You are limitless. You can do anything that you set your mind to, is what I just heard. And there's the swans. Swans mate for life. And that's a number four. And this says slow down. When you're excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. That's funny, the Divine Feminine saying that to the Divine Masculine, right? Because Divine Feminine, you know... But I feel like this is about like the divine masculines, like having anxiety about everything they have to do, because I feel like there's like a lot going on here, you know, and this is why he's in this state of trust. And then we have this finances and career, like, you know, there might be like financial issues between the two, you know, or I mean, it's coming in the middle. So there might be for some divine masculine that it just goes both ways. Either both of you are having financial issues or one or the other, you know? All right. And what's the advice for the connection? Show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. So this is like, um, Express love through gifts. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. So this is this is like giving back so that you're not just always focused on this connection or focused on yourself, you know, there, there are some, um, I mean, all the animals are like, sticking out to me. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. And I just feel like this is more about like getting outside of yourself. You know, gratitude is the attitude. That's what I just heard. All right. So, and I'm going to get advice, one advice card for each. Okay. So one advice card for divine masculine. So divine masculine, this is your advice. One advice card for divine masculine, please. Ooh. Clear your space, get rid of clutter, clear your energy around you and use feng shui. And then look, it says, beloved one, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So that's why you're trusting, you know, that's why you're having this courage and strength. Because I feel like you feel it, you know. So clear your space, like get you some sage, you know, carry some qu quartz. I'm going to show you some. Here, I got this. This is my, my quartz, clear quartz ball. This is like a powerful one. This is my, and then this is the one I usually carry around with me every day. Um, 
and anyway, I got it like everywhere. So sage, I'm going to burn some sage for you right now. This is one of my good, you know, but like go through your crap, get rid of it. It's also about like cleaning up your, your thoughts because I don't know what, like just the, I just feel like there's some divine masculine, like kind of feeling crappy. All right. So let's get one advice card for divine feminine. Divine order. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. I feel like that's exactly what I, what we were just talking about because I just don't, I feel like there's things being left unsaid and before you go running off on your horse, divine feminine, like pause, wait, like that song, listen to that song. I'm going to listen to that song and clear co cognizance. Pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. So yeah, because there have been a lot of like divine feminine, like waking up to their gifts. Well, both sides, divine masculine and divine feminine, both waking up to their gifts. But I feel like you're going to get some information because it says as they are answered prayers. Yeah, it's direction. Okay, so let's get one for the connection. Advice for the connection for both divine masculine and the divine feminine. What is the advice for the connection? Moving forward. All right, we got two. Breathe. That's always a good one. Yeah, see? Clairvoyance and life review. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change and heal anything that is unbalanced. I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. Yeah, because I feel like both sides are kind of like going through an awakening. And, um, I mean, Archangel Jeremel, that he's, you know, He's the one that takes you on your life review, like when you cross over, you know, so. And that's like, it's like this, this, this rebirth that's happening from both sides, you know, it's like. I mean, I just feel like for the divine masculine to be over here, trusting in his intuition and trusting in his, his guidance. And like, I feel like that's saying right there that he is seriously transforming. So if he's taking the time to do that divine feminine, like wait, you know, <laughs> it's like, I mean, but not in an angry way or resentful way. Like, you know, you've been on your path for a while. You've had like time to go through these transformations. Um, you know, you, you know how overwhelming and, and exhausting it is. So uh, there, there's just this need for patience. I feel like patience and compassion, but both sides need to, sh to show each other compassion because it's like, like divine masculine. It's like recognize, recognizing. I feel like that's why he's in pain because he does recognize what the divine feminine has been doing. Like, and what, and he's recognizing how he's hurt her, which is also why like divine feminine are being asked to release their ex. Like, I mean, some of you, this is your karmic partner. They're, you're actually being asked to release them, you know, and release the drama of that, that connection. But, but 
this is also, like I said, like your divine masculine coming back as a different man. I mean, look, like he's, he's showing up like dressed in his, I don't even know what you call it. Like he's like manning up. He's coming up. He's showing up like a gentleman. Huh. That's interesting, right? And so wait, listen with an open heart when he shows up. Alrighty. Let's get, let's get one unicorn. All right. And then I'm closing it out. One unicorn card. All right. Here we go. Wish upon a star and change. The changes that you're going through are positive. See? <laughs> All right. We got to close out on that. It says make a wish and expect the very best. Hello. All right. Yay. <laughs> so um, have a good night and I will see you later. Bye.